Joining us now from Orlando's body language expert, Susan Constantine. And Susan, everyone is talking about Joe Biden. His smiling, the way he laughed out loud. What did you make of that? Well, to me, when I was looking at that, he was losing control. And that gesturing, those large gestures, those ones where he was deflecting instead of personalizing, was telling you a lot. And when I was watching that facial expression, that smile, that great big grin around me gesture of the cat, right. and then laughing afterwards, as a deception detection expert, the one things that we look for are a few things. One is a giggle afterwards, someone who speaks. We're looking for a contempt gesture, which is when the mouth goes off to one side and also smiling. Most people deceive others during a smile. So the question is, was he really being deceptive or is it just his own emotions leaking out through his nonverbal communication? But all in all, his nonverbal communication spoke volumes to me of contempt. All right, Biden was laughing. Paul Ryan had the water going. It looked to me like he had at least two <laughs> gallons of it. I mean, was he really that thirsty? What was behind the water? Oh, my gosh. I mean, he was feeling a lot of anxiousness. You could see worry in his forehead. It was kind of scrunch up. And at one point in time, that you saw what we call a tongue poke. And it looks like this. And basically what that was was sending a sword right towards Biden's direction. Right. So that was also one that was very telling. But anytime you see someone that's drinking water, it's no different than rapid eye blinking. It's a lot of anxiety that's being expelled out. And when we, when our nonverbal communication, what we're feeling in the inside is going to come out and leak out, and it was through drinking the water. What did you think when uh, Joe Biden looked directly into the camera and spoke? Well, what he was doing is, at this point, I probably a lot of it was bullying, but same thing very much like how President Obama did, is that he wanted to rally the team. He, you know, he's one of these kind of guys that uses this basketball type of gesture because he wants people to rally the team. Because what's happening is that when you're starting to feel like they're losing ground, he wants to talk to the people. Forget you, I want to talk to the people. So in that type of gesture, to me, it was very strategic. It's what he planned to do. And quite frankly, I thought it was quite effective. Some critics thought that uh, Paul Ryan may have been a little too stiff, too controlled at times. Do you agree or not? I think that he did an excellent job, mm -hmm. but because he was up against Biden, I think that he could have been a little bit more assertive. All right, Susan Constantine, always a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.